Here is a sort of badly drawn representation of my burner. So, this bit on the outside is an old hot water tank. It's still got a coil inside if I wanted to put water through it and heat radiators and whatnot. So anyway, steel, hot water tank, the bottom bit's a bit of an old gas bottle. And that bit there, that's the fancy burny thing I bought from eBay. Essentially, it's a stainless steel drum with all lots of little teeny tiny holes in it that puts the air in the fire. So this is the source of my air, is this fan here. So it blows air in here, like that, which gets all tumbled around and ends up going through all the little teeny tiny holes all the way around, up through the middle of this, and gets blown out that way as well. Oil comes down this oil feed pipe from the uh, from the pump and gets dripped onto the metal plates inside, which should be glowing red hot when it's running properly. Oil vaporises, makes the air, gets burnt, you get a nice tall flame up, flame in, move it, and then out the exhaust. Do -do 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 -do, like that. This gets nice and hot, radiates heat, so on, so forth, such heater. That's essentially all it is. Oil coming in, getting vaporised, makes some air, burning, producing heat. Just like a thermobile. They really do make nice heaters there. Yeah. If you've got the money, I'd recommend just buying a thermobile. That would be it. Here's the inside of the burn chamber. This pipe here is my oil feed pipe, which just poked through the side. Just sit it out of the way. I've disassembled bits of it so you can see inside. This is a top piece. Mine has got a central air feed. Air comes up the middle of that and out all these little tiny, tiny holes and there's a lip around there which creates like a down force of air into it. It's also got this deflector which deflects air down the way towards the bottom of the fire and I drip the oil onto this to evaporate it. So basically you can see that spot right there where the oil hits it, evaporates and then burns inside. And if you look in there, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. So you've got this ring around the top of very close together holes. And then further down, there's more spaced out holes. And this, well, using science and magic, they've obviously worked out that that's the best way to aerate the, the burn that's going on the side. Mine's got a bit of a swirl because of the way the fan blows, but essentially it's just the same as a thermobile where it pushes the air on top of what's burning to vaporise it. And it's, it's really quite efficient. It's you know, good to have the hoover in there. That's one thing you have to do though is clean it all the time because obviously your waste oil's full of rubbish and crap and bits of carbon and whatnot and the oil burns off but the carbon stays. Delighted, I use a little drop of diesel and a bit of cardboard. Pull the diesel on the bottom. Well, so you need something to light your cardboard with. Take the cardboard, push it in the diesel, and then turn the fan on. This starts us off, getting a nice and hot. Usually I would shut the door at this point to keep the smoke going up the chimney, but then you wouldn't be able to see anything.
Right, it's starting to get warm in there. Don't know if you can hear the hear it starting to roar. But it should be just about hot enough to start pumping oil. You can hear it gurgling. So here's the pump sitting top of the oil. Here the keys are running. It goes up this pipe and then into the popper pipe. More like David. So that's sitting in the copper pipe and then inside the pump. And there's the relay module here clicking on and off. At the person boy. That's not as elegant as a thermobile, certainly, but plenty of heat, burning waste oil, and no smoke. I'll show you the no smoke. So it's burning just now, I don't know if you can actually see the heat coming out of the chimney, yeah, you can just see the heat coming out of the chimney, but as you see it's heat and no smoke. This is what I designed, well I say designed, I just put bits together to run the pump. So I have a cheap diaphragm pump from eBay, I think this was £3 from China, took a while to get here but it works, it absolutely sucks in waste oil and pumps it back out again. This is just a AC to DC transformer, uh, 240 in, UK plug, 240 in, 12 volts out, I think this is a 5 amp or an 8 amp, and onto this bit which is sort of the most important bit after the pump. This is the timer relay, this controls how on and off the pump is, let me zoom in a bit. See how much we can see of this. So that's the relay there that clicks on and off to control the pump. That's the two green wires, and these two little screws here they adjust how long the pump turns on for and how long it stays off for. So I don't the pump's not running continuously, it's just squirting a little bit of oil every again. This board is a bit shit, like the minutest turn of either of those adjusts the time by a, a huge amount. So if there are better boards out there, I'd recommend getting one easier to adjust, I'd recommend getting one of them. But again, this board was only £3 something, and it's got a trigger switch here, it's just a, a push to make, and that starts it off run. Right, suppose we should uh, see it in action. So that's it burning away, the door shut, you can, I still need to seal around the door with a bit of edging, but it's nice and quiet. The only noise you get is the occasional noise from the pump pumping away. What it really could do with is a fan behind it so it blows hot air over this way, but I can do that, I can get that, a little bit of fan, no problem. That's it, that'll just uh, heat the workshop up nicely.